What's going on guys? I am here at CNS on a Saturday. Just picked up the beautiful truck. Got the crew still working on it because I have to have a license plate. Joel, you're one of the guys that made this all happen for me. Correct. What'd you think about the project? It was fun, exciting. I mean, it's always a pleasure to work on uh, some beautiful vehicles, especially uh, great artwork. You guys really took a lot of care. I, I came by and I had seen how you'd actually taped off the fenders, taped off all the areas that might make contact during install. A lot of places don't do that, right? right? They throw it on, then all of a sudden there's a scratch or there's a scuff or there's some type of a problem. It really goes to show how much care you guys take in your customers' vehicles. Was this a fun project? It was very fun. Thank you, Joel. Well, you take care, brother. Thanks Thank again. All right, so today's upgrade is replacing this equalizer, which I believe is made by Dexter, but I could be wrong. But I'm going to be replacing this standard equalizer with this system right here. So this is the Dexter Easy Flex system. It replaces those real cheap shackle straps with these half-inch thick shackle straps, wet bolts, along with these suspension equalizers that have a nice rubber bushing in between. If you recall, this is a very similar system to what I removed from the fifth wheel and replaced with the Moride SRE 4000 system. But on this trailer, this is going to be a really effective system. And because it came complete with the shackle straps, wet bolts, and everything, this is just a really good kit to get. Now, this specific system is designed for axles between, I believe, three and 5,000 or three and 6,000 pounds. So this system should work really good with the trailer setup I have. And this is a little bit softer compound than the rubber that was on the system that I removed from the Chaparral. So this will be a great upgrade for this trailer. And I'm not gonna show the full install, but we do plan on jacking up the back side of the trailer one side at a time to do this work. And um, I use this little socket set that I told you guys about a long time ago. I told you this is my favorite tool and the fact that I'm not gonna have to go back and forth and get different sockets is great because this kit has everything I'll need in it. Anyways, I'm gonna lift this side up, go ahead and remove the tires, uh, suspend the axles, take this part off, swap it, should be pretty quick. First of all, I got Brian out here, my trusty helper. This guy is awesome, and he is always willing to step up and help. So thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And we got the side lifted up. Everything's ready to be unbolted. And I'm only doing this because some of you people probably don't think I actually do any of the work myself. But it's hard to hold the camera, and when I need help, I need help. So we're just going to go ahead and finish the project off. I might take some video in between. We have it up on jack stands. Tires are off. Next thing I'm going to do is put these jacks underneath the axles, get some weight off of the axles. Got the old equalizer out. It's laying over here. Hammered in the new brass fittings. Just need to put the new equalizer in place. We'll be good to go. All right, so we just got this one finished up. There's the equalizer. We are in the process of putting the tires on. One thing to note, when you put these this side through, the bolts are already in the plate, they're pressed in. You push it through, there's a little spacing there. You have to start tightening the top one and the bottom one will kind of fall into place. It's a tight fit though. Putting the tires on and wheels. Check those out, but we'll talk about those later. So we're done with the other side, off with the old equalizers, on with the new. Here are the new wheels. They look really good on the trailer. We'll give you a wider shot in a little bit. On to the other side, let's get this project finished up. All right, so now that we've completed the suspension work, done the inside as far as spraying bed liner, more reflectors, bigger battery. Next big upgrade is going to be this Smart Jack from Lippert. This is really cool, mainly because it has a feature that really separates it from others. And that's the ability for it to remember where you hitch and unhitch at, so it just returns to that spot. And you don't have to worry about cranking the handle the whole time. You can focus more on backing your truck up. So this is really cool. We're going to be installing this today. It is a very, very simple install. The only thing we'll have to do that's different than the manual jack is, of course, run a power wire. But that shouldn't take very long. Be right back. Before we go any further, I want to give eTrailer.com a huge shout out for sponsoring this build. This is the place that I sourced all the equipment that I needed for this trailer. They have everything you need to really set up your trailer the right way. They really, really care about their customers and they have tons of really great information on their website if you have basic questions to advanced questions about doing just about anything. Before you get started on a project and you want to know more information on if it's the right way to do it or how it's going to help, give eTrailer a call. So removing an old tongue jack is really easy. It's just taking three bolts out. Make sure you don't have anything on the foot, which I already removed. And then simply 
lift it out of place. That's it. This is one of the easiest things to change out on a trailer. And here is the new Lippert Smart Jack that'll be going on. This thing is a beauty. It's got a really nice inch nine inch pad at the bottom of it. Gives you a lot of stability. Plus, here's your settings to set the height, recall the height, and auto retract. Has a nice LED light here up on the front. Very, very cool. Let's get this thing all hooked up and installed. Just gonna drop it back in the hole where the other one came out of. Well, I don't think they could have made that any easier. It simply dropped right in place. I torqued down the three included bolts that came with it, fit perfectly. And all I need to do is put the foot plate in and wire it up, and I'll be good to go. So we have the jack installed. Looks really nice and clean. It only took probably 15 minutes to install. Ran the power wire to a circuit breaker right here. If I ever want to leave the trailer and prevent any type of parasitic draw, or if for some reason it gets stuck and doesn't want to stop, I can press that button, simply release it. It's like a power disconnect more than anything. Have the wire going straight to the battery, and we should be completely hooked up. So, let's see if it works. Shows that I have a full battery, that's really nice. Extending the tongue jack. This tongue jack is rated to 3,500 pounds, so more than I'll ever have on the front of this trailer. I am almost clear of the ball. Now that I am clear of the ball, what I need to do is press and hold the up and down button for five seconds. There we go. And now it's memorized it. Now if I want it to return to that position to recouple, I simply press the up and down button three times simultaneously, and on the third one, I'm going to hold it, and then it will start to automatically rise to whatever location it was at when I unhitched it. And I have the auto retract feature where I can press the retract button three times, and then hold it down on the third, and it will automatically retract the leg, so I don't have to stand here and retract it the entire time. It also has a nice slide out adjustable foot so I can raise this up and lower it as well. Of course you're going to want to return this to the right position in order for your memory feature to work since it is based on where it stopped the previous time you had it set up. Overall though this entire install took all of 15 minutes. Running the wires, covering it with loom. I'm going to throw a couple zip ties on it. Um, it doesn't come with the loom. I put the split loom on. I like to add a little bit more UV protection and split loom is super cheap so it's one of those things I like to add any chance I get. So just a quick recap on the things we've done to the trailer. First of all, most notably and most obviously, the tires and wheels. So we went from whatever brand of tires came on this, I don't even remember anymore, I think they were Rainier, to Goodyear Endurance tires. We went with a new 15 inch by six wheel, really, really good looking wheel, and overall it looks great. I think it gives the trailer an entirely different look than it had before. What you might notice in between is that I've also upgraded the equalizer to the Dexter Easy Flex equalizer with the heavy duty shackle straps and the wet bolt kit. So I still need to add some grease to those, but that looks really good. Let's go to the other side so you can see that I didn't just do half the trailer. Here on the other side, the other two Goodyear Endurance tires, beautiful 15 inch wheels, have the new equalizers here as well. The entire kit just looks great, and this is gonna make the trailer handle much better. And more than anything, it's going to provide a little bit of shock protection and dampen the suspension a bit on the inside of the trailer. These aren't what you would consider to be very flexible suspension systems, but what they do is they take the big bumps out and it keeps a lot of that shock from transferring into the trailer itself. So that is one of my favorite upgrades, getting better tires. These tires are E-rated. The tires that I had before were D-rated, so these are a better tire and they are designed to hold more payload than the previous. These are just absolutely the best setup for this trailer. Let's move on to the next one. Up at the front of the trailer, you see we have installed the Lippert Smart Jack. This is really cool. I had a really cheap, flimsy manual jack up here before, which just didn't work well, and I honestly didn't feel very safe when it was set up because it would rock 
and it just seemed like the jack was too weak for this trailer. Instead, I installed the Lippert Smart Jack system. The reason this is a Smart Jack system is because you have the ability to program in your coupler height and have it remember and go to that height whenever you're gonna try to hitch back up to your trailer. And then it has an auto retract feature as well as a nice LED light up front. Plus, you can see what your battery level is simply by pressing one of the buttons. The way I installed this was to run the power wire to a breaker box I have in here, a circuit breaker, which gives me the ability to disconnect it so I don't have to worry about any type of damage happening if there's a parasitic draw or if the motor gets stuck on the tongue jack. So that's all protected in this weatherproof box. And then I have it going straight to a new AGM battery that I have installed as well. And again, I want to give a huge shout out to the folks at eTrailer.com. That's where I got all the equipment. They are sponsoring this build. They are absolutely my number one source and have been for about 15 years when it comes to getting this type of gear. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, now is a great time to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you again very soon.